Okay guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, LeConte Tapas Grill. So we're over here just right down from our lot, 221 Newman Road. Everybody knows where that's at. Um, across from the Little House of Pancakes is a new, a brand new restaurant. LeConte Tapas Grill. Um, this, this place guys, um, amazing. I, I always like to share our, our food stories with you guys because you guys want to know how it was, they've got a nice outdoor area. Um, wow. The mashed potatoes, guys, so if you come here, I got the ribs and the mashed potatoes. It is unlike any mashed potato I have ever eaten, and the ribs are the same. Uh, it's, I don't even know how to put it into words, but it's truly amazing, and uh, if you guys are over in the Gatlinburg area, you will definitely have to try this place. Uh, it's, let me see if I can get you an inside view. It's. It's very nice, it's very nice. But they just built this, it's not been open, but about, I'm thinking about three or four days. It's only been open three or four days, but I'm gonna try not to be invasive because we just ate here, but um, very nice, very nice. These these people are amazing, amazing people. So, um, do you have a menu? I'm gonna see if I can put the menu on. I have a menu, one for dinner. Okay, we'll get that pinned up and I've got a lunch. Oh, got a backside. We'll see if we can get that up on on a pause mode. There we go. But the chef, guys, the chef is amazing here. The folks are are really cool. Unlike anything that we have ever tried and, and eaten. But you guys are gonna have to try and see if you can swing by and give uh, Lacan Tapas Grill a try. Number one, I, I would agree with you. It's definitely number one. But thank you guys and we'll see you soon, okay? But guys, uh, that's, uh, wow. Amazing folks in there. Like I said, they've only been open about three days, four days. And um, just above <laughs> the notch on, on the food. And I, I told the lady, I was giggling. I said, I don't, I don't know what the chef puts in these mashed potatoes, but I'm gonna go give him a kiss. And she she started laughing. She says, "Yeah, he, he might he might go for that." <laughs> but anyway, guys, had to put that out there. Uh, come check them out. That that was just the thing that my, I think uh, Kristen tried the the um, shrimp coconut shrimp coconut yes. shrimp. And, and it um, came with like this pineapple rice, and it was like nothing that I'd ever had before, but it was excellent. So I know we I know we keep saying that, but it's but yeah, um, unlike anything unlike anything that we've ever eaten we've eaten a lot of food and, I, and you know how it is you'll go and you'll try everybody's ribs um just I, I see that's the way i am i'm, I'm gonna go if they got ribs on the menu i'm gonna try it just because it's a different place and i promise you that is i have never had a rib it, it you know most people like to smother everything in barbecue and and uh, that's how it, you know they get their flavor the barbecue and the and the smoker but Man, this guy, this guy is good with his seasoning because there was very little barbecue or, I don't even know if there's any barbecue sauce in it. I don't there, think so. It was just amazing flavors and seasoning. And I have no idea what was in those mashed potatoes. No clue, but I would rather have that than ice cream. My grandma always gave me a hard time when I was little. Eat your mashed potatoes and pretend they're ice cream. Well, grandma, if that guy made my mashed potatoes, let me tell you. There would be no such thing as ice cream, and uh, but we love we love to eat. Uh, it's 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 the tow truck thing. It's what we do in between uh, these calls that keep us going, and it's restaurants like that that we will definitely go back to. And I hope you guys get to try it. So drop that comment down below if you if you get to make it into town. Um, uh, me and Christian were saying I'm, I'm glad we we got to to try it out before busy season. You know they've been open three or four days and. I promise you, I bet you won't be able to get into that place. No, that'll probably be the last time we eat there until like September or something. But uh, I hope not. I hope not because uh, <laughs> there's a lot more things on that menu that I would love to try. But anyway, that is our come out and eat with everything auto adventure. And uh, stick around, stay tuned. We are on our way to a winch out. Some lady says she's hanging in the creek. So don't know what that is, but we're going to go find out. <laughs> This is all you get right here, is a picture 
of the delicious food. I'm sorry, I should have. I should have took the camera in with me, and you guys could have got all in there and looked at it all, and maybe smelt it from this angle. But I'm here to tell you, it was delicious. Uh oh, is this guy in the truck gonna pull him out? Like we got good Samaritans here with ropes and boards and probably could have been bad I guess. I'm always curious what they hook to and what they find. Hey guys, I guess you don't need a tow truck. You got one, right? Yeah. Well, I she said she was in drive, and then when she's going up here, it just kicked back. Got you. Yeah, it looks like they got you. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no problem. Uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna get out of the way. usually what we run into guys boards and ropes and four-wheel drives anyway nice of them to call us back and cancel huh yeah. okay guys welcome back to the channel um, we're headed out to get a, um, a 32 Ford uh, apparently they have some uh, vehicle difficulties so we're gonna see if we can get this thing scooped up and uh, get them to a safer place Got our helper here today, Bruno. He's gonna get uh, traffic control. We need to get him a light and a vest, I think. <laughs> anyway, we're um, heading up to see if we can get them rescued. Stick around, stay tuned. They say they're about three miles in, but uh, we're really unsure of the of the location. So it might take us a bit to find them, but once we do, I'm sure everybody's gonna wanna see that 32 Ford including us, so we are off. Hey guys, y'all don't have a rollback? Oh, this is way easier, I promise. Yeah, it may be easier on you, but I don't want that thing hurt. Oh no, that's why we bring this, is because we don't want that thing hurt. I don't have to touch anything but your tires. With a rollback, you gotta put hooks on it, and you gotta drag it up on a bed, and this is, I promise, you can watch the whole process, it's way easier. The, I, I, we do the all the low rider stuff, and the Corvettes, and the hot rods, and I don't want to have to touch any part of your car. That's that's my goal. So, um, is it this first one here? Yeah. Okay. Um, I, but did I talk to your wife maybe on the phone? Is she's coming back up to try to get get some of you guys? I don't know what they're doing. I, I, they going to get a motel. Right? Going to get a motel, but we don't work. Okay. Well, I guess you can follow me with this gentleman here and the other yeah, one then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll follow you. Okay. Let me see. Uh, I'll probably just dolly the front. That's fine. Yeah, we don't need anything. Uh... Beautiful car. Yeah, too bad it doesn't run. Too bad it doesn't run. Ah, it's, sometimes it's, they just want a little more tinkering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll scoop the back here and then we'll dolly the front. But yeah, just, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> He didn't want this truck. He doesn't want us to do it? Well, 
He didn't. Mm-hmm. He said, he said, you need to bring a rollback. I said, I promise, you don't want me touching your car with a rollback, and hooks and chains and... I'm sure his front bumper's low. Yeah, I'm just gonna dolly the front. Okay. I'm gonna scoop it from the back. Sorry, YouTube, you might miss the footage there. But, uh, maybe just as the boring part, so I'll uh, turn you guys off and we'll show you what it looks like once we get it hooked up. How's that? I'm gonna leave one show and we'll get it out away from everything. Okay, so this is our concern here. These bars here, if he lifted this side. It got close to that, but it didn't touch it. He steered clear of it. He scooted those in closer together so it's not touching anything. <laughs> See that the roll back then we're then I gotta actually touch the frame and I gotta pull it tight and I gotta with this I don't have to touch any of your car, just your tires. So it uh just keep that in mind if you got somebody hauling these things. I mean you you got tons of money and time and you don't want somebody gomming up the underneath side of it or well we were talking about how you're doing more without a roll back. Yeah. Yeah. And we get that a lot, you know, they'll they'll damage these things by by the angle pulling and dragging that's just we I, you know i had a guy that told me he said i got a corvette and it sits about a half inch off the ground he said and i don't know how you're going to do it so we brought this and he uh he was just amazed he said I, I i've always had to take my bumper cover off and they've had to do all kinds of crazy stuff oh, yeah. to get it to get it up so <laughs> we're happy yeah yeah we're happy to be able to to not touch anything but the tires. So, have you guys decided on a location? Uh, hopefully, my wife will be calling either you or me They're or him me. or somebody. Yeah. We, we gonna, don't have a clue where we're going to reset in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you guys, you think maybe we should just go into downtown Gatlinburg and maybe hit that Marathon gas station and see if we can get a hold of her? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if or Pitch Ford is over there. I don't know where the Dick Back Up service had on one. Gatlinburg. Yeah, as soon as you come in to downtown, you'll... Today we're going to go to Pigeon Ford to get up. That's actually supposed to go on the outside. Is it? Well, we're going to be pulling it backwards, oh, so I want to make sure that we're not... It doesn't blow. We don't, yeah. Right. So if you have any suggestions on how oh, to... You're right. Okay. <laughs> We get, we get those little UTVs sometimes that have the plastic windshields. Yep. And uh, if we get those backwards, those windshields will flap wow. and, and go crazy. So, Okay, well, I'll meet you guys down at the Marathon right. gas station here then. Okay. Yeah. Hang on, I'll go around and be 
be right behind you. Yeah, I'll make sure I'll make sure you're right behind me. But it's the it's the first gas station. First stoplight down here on the left, you'll see a little marathon gas station. That's where we'll get signal at first. Okay. Do y'all so. want to go ahead and get turned around? Yeah, yeah okay. he's going. All right. Bunis, you didn't help with traffic control, Bunis. <laughs> you gotta get in your pilot seat. Well, good job. I think you just made another convert. Yeah. That's always my goal is to use this truck when we can, cause yeah, I, like I said, I, I, I don't wanna. Guys, you gotta understand the underneath side of these cars are just as, if not more important than the rest of it. And you, you'll go to a car show and you'll see mirrors placed so you can stare underneath side of these things. And that's the last thing you wanna do is try to hook a, a hook and stretch or chip some paint or anything like that. I mean, it's it's important, so, isn't it, Bunis? Bunis says it's important. <laughs> Did you get all worked up? Is it hot out there? Pulling chains? Yeah? I bet you want some chicken nuggets, don't you? Well, we can do that later. Anyway, we are back down to the bottom. So, let me spin you guys around here and let's hit the road. Most of the time, people don't think about tow trucks, guys. They our uh, our older generation you know is uh they're still thinking of a tow truck as a as a hook and a sling and uh back years ago it was very invasive on on towing so you know when you when you have to tow an older folk <laughs> vehicle and so they're always worried for good reason But uh, I don't know if we're going to get those thunderstorms that we talked about, but it is a muggy day today. Mm -hmm. It's muggy. It just says turn the AC up. And that's bonus breathing, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Bunis. They know what they're looking for, so no, let's let's not do that. Let's let's, <laughs> let's, let's stay in our seats. Oh, what do you mean they know what they're looking for? Uh, she says she's seen her over here, uh, and then they're going to have to work on it. And over in this area would be. Yeah, she just swept her arm that way. Okay. Well, we'll see what she says here. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Well, I kind of want it to be, I don't know, level, but maybe not. Maybe it's not.
I might be able to make that happen. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, just tell them how good you were with that. Uh, we try. I, like I said, you guys have got hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars, so we we uh, we want to make sure the underneath side looks as good as the upper side. <laughs> um, we, uh, I guess I'd worry about here. Surely you won't need under it. I, I know it's kind of sloped here. If you've got wheel chocks and that sort of thing. If you're, it's got park. It's still that part still works. That part still works. Okay. Well, that's all we need there then. Yeah, we don't. Have, we just pick it straight up and set it straight down. So. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Works out pretty good. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, we know exactly what to bring in. The park ranger was kind of intrigued too, so we have to call and ask the park if we can go. Yeah. And he said, well, that's, you probably won't miss that one. That's probably the only one up there. <laughs> is there some sort of car show in town or y'all just, is there some sort of car show in town or y'all just have fun? There was in uh, Knoxville. Oh, okay. Cool cars, man. I mean, that's Georgia. I see. I see. Well, hopefully it's something simple that's to fix, so. Well, thank you for trusting us with it. I don't blame you. Yeah. No, I understand. Thanks for trusting us. That's, uh, we appreciate that. Yeah, we can go forward with it a little bit now if we can. That'll free me up. The middle, yeah, the middle bottom one. Yep. In. Out. Oh. That'd be perfect. Yeah. I got some notes here. I'm sure you've got insurance for roadside that, re that will reimburse. Probably not. No? My wife's cheap. Ah, uh, <laughs> well. That's okay. She pays for it now. It's her uh, car. Yeah, there you go. 32 Ford tow. I'll just leave it at that. No. Maybe. 1932. Technology. I wish it just worked for me sometimes. Yeah. Well, it's very nice. Well, thank you. You're welcome. It's even better when it's moving. <laughs> yeah, <I believe> it. <laughs> what's, yeah. what's wrong with it? Uh, the distributor took a dump. Oh, okay. 
Uh, it got some parts because it's a GM distributor to Ford engine, uh -huh. and it still didn't help it. So oh, no. apparently, it's the magnetic pickup, which is you have to take the distributor apart to change it. Okay. And that's not something we could do alongside <laughs> the road. Yeah. yeah. Although it'd be a beautiful place to do it up there. <laughs> yeah. <really. laughs> A lot of chemistries. Five feet for ours and all of that. Yes, yeah. Yeah. They... <laughs> Goodness. Any final words about that? Um. They were very grateful. They really were. Yeah. Let's get your head out of the vent. <laughs> um. They. Uh, you know, I had the mic on, so it probably caught a lot of that stuff, I guess. Um, you know, they're just just talking about how they love to get out and and uh, and drive that thing around. You know, they don't leave it sitting in a in a garage. Him and his wife built that thing, top to bottom, and he said they they get out and they enjoy it. So, awesome. dude, you're loud. Excited. But anyway, guys, that's uh that's that, and uh, that's how you get a 32 Ford un scratched to its final destination and uh, I think uh, I think we've made a believer in in them as far as the next time they're gonna call a tow truck what it's gonna be um, <laughs> I'm gonna get her down but get her down uh, but guys I, I don't I don't I don't mean to say that you know the rollback wouldn't do that because the rollback is is perfectly capable and they make soft straps and they make you know ramps and and all kinds of things that you could have done to make that make that job happen i'm just saying that this is the way that we prefer to do it and um it just works out faster and cleaner for us but we have used the rollback and we have built ramps and and put rags and boards and shims and things like that and it and it can work but uh stick around stay tuned we're uh we're gonna make some more believers and some more old rat rods it sounds like there's a lot of them in town and we're gonna see if we can do what we can do